hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so guys this is week 5 assignment of the course cyber security and privacy course so these are completely our probable solutions if there are any changes we'll update that in the comment section guys if, if you feel there should be any differences you can please give your suggestions in the comment section as well so please watch the video till the end guys because if i make any change in between the video you may be able to note those changes only if you watch full video so do watch the full length video guys don't skip the video first question the, the primary function of a cyber security policy within an organization is to what so for first question the probable answer is fourth option guys is to establish a comprehensive reference point for organizational cyber security practices so mark option four as the probable solution for first question next second one second question which type of policy is related to an organization's strategic purpose mission and vision so for second question it should be third option guys enterprise information security policy eisp so mark third option as the probable solution for second question now let's move on to the third one so it's a true or false question standards are broad abstract documents that provide detailed procedures for employees to comply with policies so for third question it should be false so mark option two next fourth question fourth one which of the following reflects the hierarchical top-down order of information security policies? So for fourth question, the probable answer is first option. First level of hierarchy is enterprise. Next issue specific and finally system specific. So mark first option as the probable solution for fourth question. Now let's move on to the fifth one. So guys, before getting into this fifth question, I want to make a small announcement. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So for the course Cyber Security and Privacy, we have collected the exam preparation MCQs, guys. These are past years NPTEL assignment questions. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected this. So here you are going to get a huge number of 120 MCQs. 120 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for one person, it is 150 rupees, guys. If you take it as five persons combinedly you can get it for 500 rupees so individually per each person 100 will be charged but if you are only one person who are taking this pack it will be 150 rupees guys no need to worry so if you want to purchase this then only mail me guys so this is the email id bk179417 at gmail.com so i'll give the same email id in the description box as well guys so this is the mail id bk179417 at gmail.com so mail me to this email id if you want to purchase this pack already many students are start taking our pack and also many professors and assistant professors also taking this pack so take it now itself guys so that you can get more time to prepare at the back end so for one person it is 150 rupees only guys for five persons combinedly it will be 500 rupees so if your friends or classmates doing the same course along with you then you can combinedly take this pack for 500 rupees so 120 mcqs you are going to get guys that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so remember guys only if you are confirmed to make the payment then only mail me because many students are waiting for us so we have to set everyone in the priority order so fifth question which of the following components is typically included in the enterprise information security policy so for fifth question it should be second option statement of purpose statement of purpose second option sixth question it's a true or false question guys systems specific security policies 
can be separated into two general groups managerial guidance and technical specifications so for sixth question the probable answer is true guys next seventh question seventh one so what consists of details about user access and use permissions and privileges for an organizational asset or resource so for seventh question it should be first option guys access control lists access control lists so mark first option next eighth one it's a true or false question Consequence driven cyber informed engineering CCE is a cyber defense concept that focuses on the lowest consequence events from an engineering perspective so that resource constrained organizations receive the greatest return on their security investments. So, for eighth question, it is false, guys. Next, ninth question. Ninth one, dash or non-mandatory recommendations the employee may use as a reference in complying with a policy. So for ninth question, the probable answer is fourth option, guys. Guidelines. And moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is tenth one. So before getting into the solution of this tenth question and final one. And once again, I want to make you remember, guys. So, for the course Cyber Security and Privacy, we have collected exam preparation MCQs with five years of NPTEL experience, guys. So, these are past years assessment questions, NPTEL assignment questions, 100% syllabus oriented. So, 120 MCQs you are going to get in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So, for one person, it is 150 rupees, guys. If you take it combinedly for five persons, five persons, it will be 500 rupees, guys. So, if you want to purchase, mail me to this email ID bk179479 at gmail.com so already many students and professors and assistant professors as well taken the package so everyone started preparing for this exam from now itself so take it now itself so that you can get more time to prepare at the end so this is the mail id guys so i'll give the same email id in the description box as well so remember guys only if you're confirmed to make the payment then only mail me so this is the mail id So that's it guys now let's get back to the last question so for 10th and final question guys creating air gaps to isolate critical systems is a cyber hygiene practice that focuses on what so for 10th question it is third option guys segmenting networks for improved security so mark third option as the probable solution for 10th and final question so friends these are the solutions for week 5 assignment of cyber security and privacy course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share this new with your friends and classmates guys and don't forget to take this pdf pack it will be very much helpful for you in the preparation for the final exam guys so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you